Hi, and welcome to Squarespace Tutorials with Jake Jorgovan. Today I'm going to be showing you how to edit font size within Squarespace. But before I show you to actually edit your font sizes, I want to explain a few things about web fonts before going into that. So whenever you choose, you're in the Squarespace editor and you choose some, some text, you highlight this, and you want to adjust the font size. Well, if you're familiar with Microsoft Word or Pages or anything, generally then you're going to go up and you're going to say, I want this to be bold or I want this to be 18 point or 12 point. Well, it's a little different in Squarespace because Squarespace more so works within how fonts work on the internet. So when you come up here, you have the options for bold, italic, and to make it a link and all of those. But what you're really doing to actually edit your font size is you're going to click this uh, paragraph format. And here you have the options for normal, heading one, heading two, heading three, and code. Uh, for most people, they'll never have to worry about the code one, but you're regularly going to use these other four options. And basically how this works is heading ones are meant to be your topmost attributes. So a large section of a site would be a heading one. So for instance, you see here on my page, Squarespace Web Design is the top uh, element of my site, so I give it a heading one. And then down here, I give this, uh, this kind of subheader, why Squarespace is so great, a heading two. And then an even smaller subheader, for instance, down here when I have my services, I've given these smaller ones a heading three. And basically what these do is these different heading functions, uh, that's how you determine your font size. And everything here in my paragraphs is normal text. And so in a second, I'm going to show you how to actually edit these font sizes, but I wanted to explain this first to show you that basically this is how you, you're, you're, everything on your website is going to fall within these four font choices. Your basically three heading types and then your normal text and everything on your Squarespace site is going to fall within those types of font sizes. So now say I want to change these font sizes. Maybe I, I want my Squarespace web design to be bigger or I want why Squarespace is so great to be smaller. Well, what you're going to do then is you're actually going to go to the style editor. Uh, and to get to the style editor, you're first going to go to view page while you're logged into Squarespace. Yeah, I'll give it a second to load here. And so once we're here on the front page of the site and we're logged in, we'll see this little uh, option down here for the three different sections. And we're going to click on this paintbrush icon right here. And that allows you, to, as you see, to change the visual style of your site. So we're going to click the paintbrush. And then that'll bring up the style editor here on the left hand side. Now if we want to change the font color or the font size, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to main content. Uh, on some font sizes this or, or some themes, this you know your options here will be a little different. But every single theme is going to have these options somewhere for the heading one, heading two, heading three, and body text. And so say I want to make Squarespace web design uh, a little bigger or I want to change the font. I'm going to click on this heading one option. And now here my different font sizes have shown up. So I can go in here and change that to a 34 font size. Or I can change the line height if it's multiple line. Or I can make it uppercase, I can lowercase it, or I can just leave it as none. Up here where it says Lato, I have the ability to actually go through and choose from all of the fonts on Squarespace. And then you also have the style, uh, the opportunity to click how bold or thick each font is here. So if I went to 100 on this font, it would be really thin, but I'm going to leave this at 700. And then letter spacing is the last one. And if I wanted to maybe space this out, I could have uh, a larger letter spacing on this as well. 
And then again, so like I said, everything on your site falls into these different categories. So on H2, I scroll down and I simply have all those same options here. So I can make sure my, all my H2 tags bigger. And what you'll see, if you scroll down, um, actually I don't have any other H2 tags on the site, but I'll show you in a moment here. So we'll go back down to, I believe I had that at 18. But you'll see anything that is an H3 tag. I have a bunch of all of these are H3 tags. Say I want to make these a 700 font. And maybe I want to make these a little bigger. Well, all my H3 tags now will change as a result of that, and that is site-wide. So you can't do this necessarily on an individual page, uh, but you can do this um, just within a single section, or you, you can do this with just your individual tags. And the last thing is your body font. So say I want the font size of my whole site to get bigger, I'll go down here to body text, click that, and then I would could change my font size for my whole site and make everything much bigger, which is far too big than I would prefer for my site. Uh, you also have the ability to change your line height right here, which does become important on fonts. So now you'll see that the actual distance between the lines has gotten a little smaller. And we'll leave that where it was. But that is essentially how you edit and change your font sizes in Squarespace. If you need any further help on this, you can reach out to me on my website at jickjorgaman.com slash squarespace.